We all know the saying, someone's trash is another person's treasure. Well, a New Hampshire woman says she was at a thrift store looking for frames when she saw this and took home this painting. It was a $4 investment set in her home for years at one point in her closet until she posted it in a Facebook group. And that's when it caught the eye of an art conservator who knew it was special. Actually, an original Newell Converse Wyeth is painting one of a series of four. It was created all the way back in 1939. And now that woman is going to turn $4 into potentially more than $250,000 when the painting goes up for auction. All right, let's bring in the artist with the Eye Painting Conservator, Lauren Lewis. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, t tell us how you even got involved in this and then your reaction when you realized wait a minute, this painting is likely the real deal. Hi, yes. Yeah, so I am a painting conservator and I've worked with the F Wyeth family for since 1998. Um, and I've seen a lot of original paintings. Um, and I also am a Wyeth fan. So I am on Facebook pages with Wyeth paintings all the time. I happened to be scrolling through one day in mid-May and I saw photos of this piece with the tagline, is this real? And that happens fairly often. And generally it's a reproduction from a book that's been cut out and framed or, uh, you know, it's it's not real, right. uh, as it as this is. But what intrigued me about this one is she included photos of the back of the painting uh -huh. and you can see the uh, labels. And so that made me look a little bit closer. Right. Um, and actually, N.C. Wyeth would commonly use a panel called a Renaissance panel, which, as you can see, has painted that sort of uh, earthy red color. And so I started looking at the labels and everything looked authentic wow. to me so it made me just kind of look at it for a while and then i thought oh i'll reach out to her so i posted on that that post and i just said i'm a painting conservator i'm very familiar with the work of nc wyeth if you'd like me to take a look at it for condition i'd be happy to do so i just wanted to see it in person right <laughs> And, and so turns out it's a real thing. What makes it, Lauren, what makes this so unique? I mean, why is this? Obviously, you know, art, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but what could make it potentially sell for more than 250,000 bucks? That is the going rate for NCYF paintings. He was the preeminent uh, illustrator of the early 20th century, and his works are um, what a lot of people think of when they think of Treasure Island or, you know, some of the other books that he illustrated, Mysterious Island. Um, and so the fact that this painting, which has been missing for 80 years uh, and suddenly turns up right. is... It's just fantastic <laughs> for the art world. It really is. I mean, and, and the paintings are absolutely beautiful. Um, but Lauren, talk to us about the odds of something like this happening, because we certainly would all love to find, you know, a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Certainly not what normally happens. As you said, you see a lot of people post like, hey, is this real? And I got to imagine 99% of the time, maybe 99.999% of the time, mm -hmm. they're not real. Right. Um, so it's, you know, it's one in a million, really. I've never seen something like this happen. You hear the urban legends of, you know, finding an original Picasso or uh, at a garage sale or that sort of thing. But this is really, um, it's up there. It really is. Something that's really amazing. Very amazing. So glad that you get to be a part of it. Thank you so much for coming on and talking to us about it. Uh, painting conservator Lauren Lewis, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.